Hey, hey, tea lover. This is Bree coming to you from Umami Gourmet Coffee and Exotic Tea. And finally, I am back with another tea video. <laughs> you have to remember, I have a lot of different interests. And I know it's going to show on this channel. But I'm back with another tea video. It is almost summer, y'all. It's almost summer. So, of course... We here at Umami have been working tirelessly to bring you the Taste of Summer tea box. So, let's get into it. Now, for the summer 2021, the popular flavors are cherries, yuzu berries, um, peaches, strawberries are usually popular, well, I love strawberries all year round. So we will have some strawberries in there. And of course, the summertime is always a great time to have some lemonade, some limeades. And in this tea box, we will not disappoint. So what I'm gonna do is just bring out some of the teas. We have like three or four different tea boxes. So these teas, depending on what tea box you choose, you'll have a variety of different teas. So, Let's get into what we have now. I enjoy putting this box together so that you would have a wonderful variety of different teas. So the first one we're going to talk about is the green tea lemonade. Now, everybody knows that when the summertime comes, lemonades and limeades are very popular. It's just something about a good lemonade or a good limeade on a hot day. I don't know what it is about it, but it, it invokes some nostalgia feelings. It feels like home. I, I mean, it's just very popular, okay? So what we did was a green tea lemonade. Now, we know that some of the other popular restaurants may have a green tea refresher. That may be, you know, the inspiration for this particular tea, but I'm just gonna tell you. It's an irresistible combination. We have some smoky China gunpowder. We have some lemon peels, some lime peels. We have some sunflower petals, some calendula petals in there. And together, they present an electrifying summer refreshing drink. This drink is perfect, hot, but it is also good cold over some ice you may want to squeeze a little bit more lemon juice in there let me tell you you cannot go wrong with this particular tea it is crisp it is refreshing it is delicious and the next tea that i'm going to present to you is called georgia peach now the inspiration for this particular tea <laughs> may be one of my guilty pleasures, and that is to watch The Real Housewives of Atlanta. I love that show, I'm sorry. I know it's ratchet and all sorts of other things, but I do like the show, okay? So Georgia peach, peaches are popular. Some peaches are from Georgia. This particular tea, it's a green tea with peach notes. It is so good, it really is. So in this tea, we have ripe, juicy peaches. We have subtle hints of jasmine over top a Sencha green tea. Now, the good thing about this particular tea, you're gonna have the Georgia peach and you're gonna have the green tea lemonade. So if you take a little bit of the Georgia peach and mix it with a little bit of the green tea lemonade, you'll have some peach tea lemonade. Oh my God, it is so good i did that today that was my tea of today actually i've been drinking tea all day because i've been testing tea so i'm a little tea drunk right now but that's okay that's all right i love it okay so the next tea is a black tea and the black tea is called pineberry lemonade okay now pineberry is this little tea name will put a picture up. It looks like a strawberry. It's a white strawberry, but it tastes like a pineapple, or so they say. So this particular pineberry, it is a black tea. 
in this black tea, you have notes of strawberries. And you can see it's such a beautiful tea because it has the strawberries in there. It has pineapples in there. It has lemons in there. It has red currants in there. It is really a beautiful tea, but it's a good tea. It's, it's really a good tea. So I also, I had this particular tea because of course when I blend, I have to taste. I blend, I taste, I blend, I taste. So what I did with this particular tea is I blended it with the strawberries and the pineapples, the black tea, the strawberries, the pineapples. I started off with it hot. And then I was like, you know what? I think I want this to be a lemonade. So I added some of the lemon, um, the lemon pieces in there, the lemon bits. I added that in all in there with some ice and some agave and when i tell you it was perfect it really was i'm not going to be able to go to sleep tonight but it was worth it okay <laughs> so that is our pine berry lemonade and it is good so the next black tea is called strawberry peach sangria now this is one that's pretty popular it shows up sometimes and it shows up because it's great hot and it's great ice and it's strawberries and it's peaches over black tea so there are several different occasions that this particular tea can be popular in and that's why it's showing up it's really good um, it's one of those golden black teas, so it's not too harsh. It's not too, um, you know, some black teas have that, they're, um, what is it called? They're strong. This one is not strong. It has a very smooth finish, but you can taste, you know, the strawberry notes, the peach notes, and it has kind of that effervescent finish. It's very good as well. So we're gonna switch back to green tea. And this particular tea is just called a mojito. Why is it called a mojito, Brie? Because it has lime notes. Has some lemon notes in there, but the lime is the strongest. But there is a refreshing finish of mint. So, a mojito. Now, this particular tea also, it's great hot but it is so good cold, okay? So, you know, you brew your tea. If you want to use sugar or honey, you can, but put it over some ice because it is really delicious. You'll taste the lime on the forefront and then the mint on the back end of this. This can also, you know, you can put your favorite adult beverage in there too, if you want to. I don't judge, <laughs> but it is so good. And it's called a mojito. It's a green tea mojito. Okay, so our next tea, I was so, you know, I've been doing this for about 10 years now. Actually, shoot, I've been doing this longer than that. I've been doing this since 2009, 2010, somewhere around there. But what was surprising to me when I was blending and naming this next tea, I've never had a tea called Unity. What is wrong, you know? And I, and I thought about it, I was like, wow, I never even, I, I never named the tea Unity. So now I do have a tea that's called Unity and the reason why I called it that is because it's one of those balanced teas, okay? It's an overall balanced tea. So there's some hibiscus in there. And this particular tea, every herb, it's an herbal tea by the way, but every herb that's in this tea has some benefits to them. Now, I always say do your research, okay? These are teas that I use, that I love, and I always want you to do your research and make sure that, you know, they are good for you as well. So this particular tea, it has hibiscus, it has ginseng, it has licorice, it has peppermint, it has lemongrass, it has passion, passion flower, it has St. John's wort, okay? 
So all of those things that are in there are so beneficial. Ginseng, increase your energy, boost your immune system. Passion flower is an anxiety reducer. St. John's Word is for is a depression and mood enhancer. Uh, lemongrass is filled with antioxidant properties. It helps decrease bacteria in your body. Licorice, it helps to, in, de, I'm sorry, licorice helps to decrease phlegm in your body. So, you know, that's why I called it unity because to me, it helps to balance the body. It has a lot of herbs in there that helps with a lot of different things. So that's why I called it Unity. Get it, U-N-I-T-E-A, okay? Not Queen Latifah, U-N-I-T-Y. <laughs> but it's a really good one. I like it for balance in the body. So that's why I called it Unity. Now, this next one man 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 you know i always have to bring out a tea that's like a dessert and i did not disappoint with this next one so this particular tea is a little fruity and a little herbaceous okay and the reason why is because we have the strawberries in there we have some lavender but it tastes like a cookie or a cake and that's the dessert part so this one is called I haven't decided if i'm gonna call it strawberry lavender shortbread or strawberries in paris comment down below to let me know you know what you think so this one is very colorful it really is so you have your reds in there it's a, such a pretty tea i'm gonna put it up for you but it's a colorful tea blend Full of strawberries it has creamy nuances it has nutty notes from the almonds um, it has floral notes from the lavender it smells divine it smells so good but let me just tell you because lavender can sometimes be overbearing that's not what this is okay this is a well-rounded well-balanced fruit tea that's what this is and haven't figured out the name yet but i will put it down below to let you know which one i've been which one i i went to or went with but you know i always have fun naming these teas but it has to be something that kind of you know jumps out at me to say these are you know these are my babies so i have to make sure that when i name them they hold up to their name so I've shared with you seven different teas. A lot of you are familiar with our tea boxes, but let me just give you just a little small description if you are not familiar with our tea boxes. Our tea boxes change monthly. So we have four different kinds. We have the green and white tea box. We have the traditional tea box, which gives you a variety of everything. The green and white tea box is just green and white teas and then we have the fruit and herbal box that is just fruit and herbal teas fruit herbal and decaf teas okay so in the tea boxes you can choose from different sizes you can either choose a smaller tea box or you can choose a, a larger tea and box. of course that will depend on whether you are you know whether you drink tea every day some people always say if you're you know if you're a true tea lover then most people we we have so many different teas that we may not want a lot of other teas so there's a smaller tea box or a larger tea box and you can choose which one but in those tea boxes you will have up to an ounce of tea of the different flavors that we talk about it is always a variety. It is always on trend with the popular flavors of the season. And they are filled with delicious tea. Thanks for watching guys. All of the information to order one of your tea boxes or your Taste of Summer tea box is down below. If you have any questions, please leave your comments and I will surely get back to you. But I look forward to packaging and sending your tea boxes out 
and I hope you had as much fun drinking and enjoying your teas as I had making your teas. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.